Talk to Me is directed by Danny and Michael Filippo and stars Sophie Wilde. When a group of friends discover how to conjure spirits using an emblem hand, they become hooked on the thrill until one of them goes too far and opens the door to the spiritual world, forcing them to choose who to trust, the dead or the living. Now, I really enjoyed the YouTube channel Raka Raka. I found the creators of that channel very creative in a lot of brutal, unsettling, grotesque ways. I found their videos all around fantastic and for what they are in terms of being youtubers their budgets and what they're able to do in those videos are insane like the marvel versus dc video man the stunts in that and what they're able to do was fantastic and their ronald mcdonald videos are insane and also creepy as hell like i loved this channel and their old videos and so it's really cool to see these guys actually go into the mainstream and just direct a horror film and talk to me in my opinion is one of their best works they've done so far talk to me I found to be an extremely unsettling horror film and really nerve-wracking it's not so much the scariest movie I've ever seen but is but it is a movie that gets under your skin in all the best ways. There are no jump scares to find in this movie. This film goes for suspense, creep factor, and just insane visuals that I found to be extremely unsettling. And the best part of all this is they used practical effects here to create what they've done. I know it's an independent movie, so there's going to be practicality to what they're able to do. But it's always so cool to see filmmakers use practical effects, makeup work, to try and sell you on what you're seeing on screen. It looks so much better than something that is CGI. And with horror, CGI it, to me is a detriment and just ruins the scare factor when you use something practical and something actually is there you feel even more unnerved you feel fear you feel the tension emulating from the screen and you feel what the characters are feeling at the moment and that is what i loved about this movie i found it to be extremely nerve-wracking the way it visualizes the spirits that they have going on here that are mostly possessing these characters i found this idea quite unique in the way they portray this idea i found really compelling and leads to a lot of cool horror moments that really got under my skin and got me gasping throughout the film. And the characters here are mostly very likable. There are some unlikable characters here, but they are not without purpose. And later in the film, they do develop them and they do change overall. And you start to understand their mindset and what they've been doing, even some of the side characters like the parents or some of the background kids characters and what's going on with them. And I'm not saying that they're the deepest characters ever, but they have something to them that most other characters in horror movies don't. They feel like relatable people. You understand them, you understand their dynamics, they talk and act like real people and the acting is all really good. I found all these actors and actresses in this movie to be extremely good in their roles and Sophia Wilde, if I got her name correct, is really fantastic as Mia and I was rooting for her throughout the film until something at the very end uh, does something very interesting. I'm not gonna spoil what happens, but the ending took a turn that I did not expect. But in a way, I look back on it and I see some hints on what's going on. And I think it was still able to surprise you. But still you could look back in the film. And you can see where all the dots are connecting to what's going to happen at the ending. Um, so what 
happens in the sequel that they just announced. I'm very excited for that. I think this is an idea that has a lot of potential. And if these guys, Danny Philip, come back to direct a sequel, I would love to see them explore more of what the spirit world has in store and how it works. But then again, I think the fact that we only get like little hints of what the spirit world is and how it works and how it possesses these characters also adds to the suspense factor that you don't know much about what's going on that you see. In fact, that's the one rule for me in horror. The more you don't know about something that's unsettling, it gets even more unsettling as a factor because you're afraid of the unknown. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's behind the shadows. And this film understood that perfectly. It is why another part of me wants it to be a standalone thing and hopes that they don't do anything else with it. But we're getting a sequel, so yeah, it's going to happen eventually. Overall, the characters are great. The directing is fantastic. The horror I found extremely unsettling and nerve-wracking. The movie had a great look and feel to it. The lighting is never so dark where you can't see anything. Sure, there's a lot of dark scenes that take place at night, but they are lit in ways that are interesting, that gets you under your skin, and you can actually see what's going on. And I love that about this film and the cinematography. It looks really good. Overall, this film is really fantastic. I have very little to say that's negative. Apart from a few characters not having as much characterization as I hope they would, so the ending uh, could use a tiny bit more hints and details to have it hit home harder. But overall, this was a really well directed horror film that I very much enjoyed. And I'm going to give Talk To Me an A. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.